week, we are feasting like a peasant, but we're going upscale, tasting historic dishes with a modern culinary edge. We have the city's best homemade pasta and ravioli, duck tacos with chocolate foie gras mole, a hop across the pond for shepherd's pie, while pizza gets a complete transformation. But is the pizza cone good or gross? Then we go for gluten-free sweet staples and some seriously sweet buns. Don't mess with the buns! Don't mess with the buns, people. Mommy, the New York starts right now. Walking around and feeling fine. The sun is shining in my face. Crossing the street, cars are passing by. Thinking how I love this place. Can you feel the wind in your hair? I look out for you, I'll be there. Now, traditionally, peasant food combines accessible ingredients, inventiveness, and skills passed down from generation to generation. And while the taco is still an inexpensive go-to, here on Mulberry Street, they have taken this Mexican staple to a whole new level. It might be right in the middle of Little Italy, but tourists need not apply. A sub-level unmarked door is where you will find Mulberry Project, a bespoke or custom-made cocktail bar. But you won't want to come just for the drinks because in the back, is where you will find Chef Carmen Di Giovanni, who we featured years ago when he worked at Pichelin. And today we were in for a treat, the most cutting edge riff on a taco we've tasted to date. Today we're making a Thrace Pato taco. A Thrace Pato taco? Thrace Pato taco. All right, what does that mean? Uh, so, duck three ways, inside a taco, garnish out with some uh, radish, cilantro, and some piccolo onion, just to keep it on the classical, traditional sense of what a taco is. Well, we have duck, we have a duck mole made with uh, chocolate and foie gras. And then we oh, also. Chocolate and foie gras together? Yes. And then we have our duck breast. Oh, man. Okay. So, you want to keep the duck breast medium rare? Where do you guys source your duck? Uh, Hudson Valley. Nice. Go on, start with some cilantro. There is pato taco. Look at that. What's so good? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just skipping. Skimping. More. On the mole. Damn what I said. Yeah. One of the best tacos I've ever had. Excellent. And I have my tacos. And Chef is doing the sport in Sprint. Absolutely. Which I love to see him. Committed him on TV. He can't get out of it now. <laughs> oh Absolutely. man, these are so good. Peasant food from across the pond. Shepherd's pie originated in Ireland and in Scotland, and traces of pie recipes indicate that it was served as a meal during the Middle Ages. But if you want some of the tastiest in town today, you have to head straight to Stout. If you find yourself in Midtown and you're looking for a jam and bar scene, Stout is it. This cavernous space also has enough nooks and crannies to be a great date place. But if you're looking for stick to your ribs, peasant fare, just head to the kitchen and let Chef Mark Whelan make you his signature dish and the other bestseller, chicken pot pie. So now we're going to do our shepherd's pie. Basically, it's uh, seasoned beef that we cook down with some carrots and some fresh peas. We're just going to put it in a bowl like this. And then we're going to cover it with mashed potatoes. Now we're just going to put this in the oven. Yeah, and it's nice and bubbly, nice and brown. Yes, I do. Mark, let's see what you're made of here. It's stout. Ah. Delicious. Delicious. It's the potatoes. The potatoes are fabulous. One more little bite. One more little bite. How am I hungry again? How did that happen? into the chicken pot right. pie. The pastry is a thing of beauty. All right, chicken pot pie. Don't hate the player, people hate the game. Oh, man. It's good. It's like a Snuggie. It's like a... On a cold day, there's nothing better than that. Oh, man. The leeks. The yeah, leeks are sweet. It's nice. It gives it a little bit of an edge. Oh. serious comfort food people you have found in place. Mark will hook you up. I'm stout. I'm having another bite of this. Now there's a 
another type of pie that has been tied to medieval peasants who used to forage for berries and cook them in an inexpensive crust in the open hearth in their home. But today, we are going to get our hands on some of the best gluten-free baked goods in the city. In 2009, Jennifer Goodhue was diagnosed with celiac, and eliminating gluten from her diet had tremendously positive effects on her health. She met Thule Phillips, the founder of Toulouse, in 2011, and as Thule went on to open the second shop in Austin, Jen came on board. You can find her right here on East 11th Street, where you can enjoy some totally tasty treats, which you won't even know are gluten-free. You must try our cinnamon coffee cake. I must try it. You must Jen's try it. Must try it. Oh, it's so good. You won't even know it's gluten-free. Three, two, one. Oh, man. That's so good. Right, so what's next? Donuts. I love donuts. They're amazing. Our donuts are baked in the oven, so they're not fried. They're not fried? Nope. So they're almost, they're like good for me. Yeah. There's no gluten and it hasn't been fried. Correct. And there's no dairy, but there is sugar, so just be mindful. Oh, yeah. That's sweet and delicious. Yes, it's very good. Mm. And on the weekends, we offer a glazed variety. So we'll have our, you do. our classic cinnamon sugar, but then we'll do a different spin on it and have a coconut glaze. I love this donut. What's next? <laughs> How about the quintessential chocolate chip cookie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gluten-free, baby. It's almost like good for you. Right? That's what I'm going with, at least. Soft and chewy, but just perfectly baked. So delicious. So good. So, so good. delicious. We also have a version that's vegan that I want you to try. Okay. So this I is, have to. This is our vegan chocolate chip cookie. So no animals were harmed in the making of this cookie. That is correct. No dairy, no eggs, it's, and of course no gluten. It's totally, it's guilt-free. It's guilt-free. It's guilt-free. Okay, I like it. I like it. It's Italian to me. I like that from her cookie. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm intrigued by the jalapeno white cheddar corn muffin. You should be. It is a fantastic savory choice for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't talk about people. Very good. Very good. And it's nice to have an option that isn't super sweet. You know, more of a savory oh, item. It's delicious. Stop me! Stop me! Okay, cupcake. Room for a cupcake? Of course I have room for room for a cupcake. Okay, so here is our red velvet. This is our number one selling item. Best selling cupcake. And look, you can get it in like the little, little version. Little so it's mini version. Just a little tiny. Can't really do that much damage, right? Should I just pop the whole thing right now? Yes. You're awful. I told I told her that I can only eat on camera. Now she's like, yeah, pop the whole thing in your mouth. Three, two, one. People, come down here. Do yourself a favor. Even if you eat gluten. We head to the downstairs kitchen to find New York's best pasta maker for parpadelle alla duck bolognese. Buttery rosemary ravioli stuffed with burrata and parmigiano. Then it's time to start up a Chevy to score sweet buns and try that pizza coat. Good or gross? That's coming up.